Here I am. A cop in a bad dream of a city. All grit and broken glass. How anyone would live in this place on purpose I can't imagine. It's guaranteed suicide. But I'm still here. Without him. But still here. Look, just because you're taken doesn't mean that you need it to- It has nothing to do with that. I'm just saying you need to be a bit more circumspect. Especially around here. These are not human women, Magnus. They are monsters. If they find out that you've been messing around, they are going to kill you. Alright, alright. But it is because you're taken. Only the taken dress like Victorian dandies. Better than whatever excuse for clothing you happen to be wearing. Well, I have no complaints yet. Trouble in paradise. Brothers. He's coming to help today. Oh, really? Well, much as I hate to admit it, he does have a certain way, the type of person we need to interview after what Tiara told us. Because, you see, the attendants are the servants of the guardians of Glasgow. These are, for want of a better term, high fairies. I suppose you might call them high elves. There are six of them, surrounded by a phalanx of bodyguards. Our murderer is not just killing supernaturals, he's also weakening the guardians. We need to talk to some people today, and we could use magnets on this one. You mean humans? Yes, uh, a supernatural would rather talk to me anytime. Magnus can talk to humans far more readily than I can. I suppose gang members have a hard time talking to a man in a Victorian waistcoat, especially when he's thin and pretty as I am. The urge to beat me up is far too strong. Besides, I find them distasteful. Well, what about me? I'm human. You're different. We were hoping you could help us with an investigation. Um. Did you see anything last night? No, but I wish it to you. You're gorgeous. I hate this. It makes me feel so unoriginal for him, him attractive. Come on, let's go. Oh, um, I did see something. This girl went off with his lap and she never came back. Well, perhaps you could describe them to me. Maybe somewhere more private. Are you serious? No, you're not. Look, please, business. Don't interfere. I don't care. Sir, I believe the lady said this is official business. In that moment, I knew it was real. I think I'd gone along with what seemed like a good dream and a fantasy. But this brought it home, and it was real as the edge of a knife. Ancient, furious anger, vague shapes and stiletto images that stabbed with the force of pure memory, the loneliness of a beach on some unknown island. Green and cold sea, the anger of drowned men, the destruction of the clan, the pain of their broken hearts. And I knew that young man felt every emotion in the depths of the sea in their veins. The last feeling as the wind died completely, to a stillness Glasgow did not often know, was of calm, of being cared for, of the seal people who stood watching guard. Soothed the heartbreak of generations of her people. For her. So we single. Yes. What just happened earlier? Yes, I uh, thought you'd ask about that. So, seal people can control the weather? Can you make the sun come out? I don't see people do this all the time. Make Scotland a tropical paradise. What? And ruin our perfect skin? Anyway, no one in Scotland actually wants to be warm. Also, it does require a great deal of concentration. 
The sun is a myth, Mia. Never forget that. Did you just wink at me? I might have. <laughs> May I present Milo and Jeffrey? What many of you think you do not bow to a lady? In a moment, Dorian, I'm just looking for something. Oh, my, my, uh, my apologies. Howard. Hello, and uh, welcome. Hi, I'm um, Leah Bishop. Uh, hello, Miss Bishop. Yes, well, what do you have for us, Milo? Well, Jeffrey and I were just having some lunch, and... Jeffrey? Um, yes, my apologies. Jeffrey, you've gotten mustard on the crime scene photos. It's impossible, darling. I don't know what I'm doing. I know he has you laughing, but he's just so distracted all the time. I have a, a sandwich lying around here somewhere, if you're hungry. You see what I mean? Indeed. If you're not busy later... Jeffrey! <laughs> Sorry. But the thing is, the, the creature we're looking at, it, it isn't human. You see, with modern technology, it's relatively painless to compare uh, the killer's DNA with uh, all the supernatural uh, databases we have. So the killer is supernatural? Well, it has all the genes you'd expect inside a healthy human. However, it also has genes of supernatural origin. In that regard, it's similar to a vampire or werewolf. Or, begging your pardon, sir, like you. But that's where we run into problems. The thing is, while it's similar, it isn't identical to any specific gene that we have on file. So what does this mean? It means... I have no idea what it is. So, are we looking at a new kind of fairy? Oh no, it's not a fairy. There's key human genes which just aren't found in the fairy genome. Uh, However, everything had to come from somewhere. And just looking at the uh, genetics, I'd say that what we're looking at is more potent than anything which exists at the moment. It's like trying to fight a smart bomb with a sword. It is just more technologically advanced than the Selkies and your Ranger races, if you can think about writing that way. The thing is, we have no idea what will work. We have no idea what he is, or what he's capable of. So, we have to find a new way to fight. Everyone and everything has a weakness. What if this doesn't? See you playing your football. Football? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? You give me that heel right now, Gemma. What for? You can't be giving him this rubbish. He's a Highlander. Get him some lamb and mash. He's going to get ill. Seems that way. Have you seen Magnus? Not too late, he. Fine. He. Oh, never mind. Here's the video. You think of it. Feed him this. He eats good, nourishing, healthy food. We can live on it. He can eat. You lower your voice on man, or I'm confiscating your highland. You right! I know the police. And you're polis, no matter what kind of polis you are. Now, you don't have time to take care of Sherlock. He's my responsibility. I can. Yeah, I'm not your pet. You're my responsibility. And I'll be looking after you until we can get you out of this filth. Now is a not the time, 
Sebastian is your killer. I know, because it's my fault. 